I have one happy Saturday morning. Time for your update on your daily forecast. I'm meteorologist Mike Witcher and a cold, soggy Saturday morning. But it's going to be a dreary and damp day. Even though the rain comes to an end today, it is going to stay overcast, gray, kind of that misty, foggy, dreary day for most of it anyways. Maybe a couple of passing showers or a couple of light snow showers throughout the day tomorrow. Not a big deal as we have another little disturbance swinging through. And then our next storm system we'll be talking about arrives on Tuesday. I've got all the information for you right now, so drop off whenever you need to drop off. But here's your future cast from sunrise to sunset. There goes the rain shower. So by noon, we should see most of the rain per se come to an end. But I still think it's going to be kind of overcast, dreary, and kind of a gray, damp day. Uh, and that's going to be the story as we get into the afternoon and early evening hours with some drier weather conditions. Maybe a, maybe a splash of sunshine across the central southern valley at times, but not expecting much. Forecast highs will stay on the cooler side thanks to the clouds, the rain, the trapped low-level moisture. We'll be in the low, mid, and a few pockets of upper 40s. This evening, 45 degrees by 5. By 9, we're down to 44, so we don't drop those temperatures a whole lot through the evening hours, but it is going to be chilly, and we're likely to pick up, in general, about a half an inch of rainfall when all is said and done with this storm system. Three-day forecast, we're going to see those temperatures stay in the mid-40s. A couple of passing showers tomorrow, not a big deal. Quiet, dry, and warmer on Monday. We're going to stay even warmer on Tuesday as our next storm system approaches the area. So we're going to walk you through those details right now. I want to show you the big picture pattern of how our storm system at hand races its way up to the east coast. That's going to cause a mess across much of uh, the northeast, mid-Atlantic, and New England. Then here's our uh, disturbance through the day tomorrow. That doesn't do much. Again, a couple of spotty light showers, but high pressure builds on in temporarily. Again, regional. If you have any travel plans today, the southeastern coastline is going to get on the soaked side with uh, up to about an inch of rainfall there. And then heavy snow across much of the northeastern U.S. That's just through the weekend. Now, let's show you what's going to be happening uh, next week. Here's our storm system. This is Monday at noon. Storm systems across the uh, Four Corners area. That's going to race its way into the Mississippi River Valley. It's going to be a stronger storm system, has a little bit more of a westerly track from the storm that's moving its way through at this hour. And that's going to keep a low-pressure system, bringing us the, the showers and the thunderstorms on the front side of it, heavy rain, and then the possibility of some wraparound snow showers on the back side of that. That would be through the day on Wednesday. So make sure you check back in. We know that the two storm systems, the one today and the one on Tuesday, are going to produce a lot of rain across the southeastern U.S., and yes, the potential for maybe some more snow. Now, this is not an official snowfall forecast, but the heaviest snow is going to be across the Great Lakes, the Northeast. But we could maybe get a little bit of wraparound snowfall. So, again, check back in as we head through the rest of the weekend and as we start next week. Temperature trend, we're going to be warm on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we're back down into the 40s. Have a wonderful and safe day.